In this video, I'm going to be creating a client onboarding form using Framer Forms inside of Framer, where we'll be creating a multi-step form with a set of questions to basically share with new customers to collect contact information, uh, project requirements, project expectations, and other relevant details. This onboarding form basically guides customers through each step of the submitting their data, providing you with a full picture of their goals and needs once it's completed. We're gonna start by confirming their main points of contact. Then we're gonna gather their business goals and requirements. And finally, gather as many related documents as we can, including NDAs, spreadsheets, files, media, etc. I'm Lucas from Insert Frame. Let's go. All right, and the first thing that we wanna start off with is obviously a fresh framer project where we're basically going to introduce a title text and a description text and basically this piece of text is a warm welcoming message with a clear title that you can basically replace the company name with it also shows the user how long it will take to answer it gives the user a specific deadline and it basically highlights why having these questions is very important for both parties so once we have that set up we can go ahead and add the form you would want to go up here to plugins and search for framer forms and once we're inside of framer forms we can go over here to this blue button click on new form and we can add a single page form with basically the questions underneath each other or we can add a multi-step form where we basically just see one page at a time in this case i'm going to go ahead and start with a multi-step form click on that and it basically opens here inside of our file and the next thing that we can do here is we can just insert this form down here we can adjust the width of the form. We can make it fill, for example. And for starters, we do see this component and we see the three different pages here. But if I were to just press play, you would see that this component is gone and we just see one page. So that's, we're, we're, on, we're on the right track. All right, so for page one, what I wanna do is collect contact details and billing details. All right, so I've added additional pages. As we can see here on the layers panel, we have now five different pages. Page one is the contact and billing information, page two being the business goals and requirements, page three being the related documents, page four being the additional information, and page five being the submit page. And we still have like the general data over like the general inputs over here. We need to replace that. So that's the next step. We're basically going to populate each one of these different pages with their relevant inputs. So for example, in related documents, we would need some type of document uploader. In additional information, we want we would want some type of uh, text field. And in contact and billing information, not only would we want names and an email, we would also want some type of address, for example, and telephone number. And in order to start adding this information, what you would need to do is go up here to plugins, search for framer forms again, and under form inputs, you can see the different types of inputs that we have available to us. So for example, page one can look something like this, where we have a main title, contact and billing information. Then we have a question, who will be the primary point of contact for the project? We can add a full name, title, email, and phone number, right? So this is a great start for a set of information. And you can see that it's pretty wide. That's something that we have to format later, but we can easily do that because you know we're using Framer. And as you can see in one page, we can add different stacks of information, right? We can add the primary contact, a backup contact, and what is the building address, right? So again, inside of each page, we can add different types of stacks. We can also insert different types of inputs like text areas or like dates. All right, and in total, we do have four pages instead of five, right? You can see the different pages by the you know headers right here. We have contact, we have business goals, we have related documents and additional information. And you can see there's quite a lot of different inputs here. Important next step is to basically go through each one and give each one a unique name, input name. So in this case, I would probably wanna duplicate this and call this one first name and the other one last name. And over here, we wanna call this one first name, right? And we wanna call this one last name. And basically we have to do this with all of these different inputs so that, so that they are unique. And this is very important when, when a user basically submits the form and we get the results of the form. We don't want anything repetitive. Also, when using buttons like this, right? Um, also name this component, and you also wanna go into these options and you can give each one a unique value or you can leave it as option one. But 
here is where it's going to come out over here in the front end. So if I go to here and click on like once a week, you can see that it kind of pops out over here once a week. All right, and once we label all of these different inputs, we can go ahead and click on play and you can start seeing that we have the first page being shown and we have this down here as an indicator for the different pages. So we can go and click on next and see the next page and then see the next page and then the final one. We could go ahead and adjust the styling everywhere with the text and with the different layouts. And once we're done with styling, we can go ahead and click on this multi-step form layer. And we can go right here to the right and under send to, we can click here. We can send it to our email. We can send it to Google Sheets or we can send it with a webhook URL. In this case, I'm gonna choose Google Sheets. And once we choose Google Sheets, we can go ahead and name this sheet, client onboarding, create, and it is now connected. So now if I press play, and fill out the whole information. And then we can go ahead and click on submit. And then inside of Google Sheets, we get our client, well, I spelled it wrong, client onboarding, where we have the date of the submission, we have the target audience, the secondary phone, newsletter, primary first, num first name. So all of the different information that was provided to us in this onboarding form. And then what you can do is you can eventually get this information and bring this to like your CRM or something like that. And back in Framer, what you can also do is you can add a, an additional send to option where you can add a webhook. And basically you can, for example, use Zapier to, to send that new client a thank you email. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I mean, we built this from scratch. You can see how easy it is to build with Framer Forms. If you want to read more about Framer Forms, you can check that out in the, in the description below. And yeah, let us know in the comments if you want to see me build out some similar ideas to this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.